Hello students, we are going to discuss about chapter 15, Data Manipulation through SQL, part 3. In the previous video, we have discussed about the clauses in SQL. Now, in this video, we are going to learn about AND or NOT operators in SQL and aggregate functions. So, what is the use of AND or and NOT operators? With the help of these operators, we can filter our records based on some conditions. We can give more than one conditions. So, normally, we will the specific records display. We will give the condition using the WHERE class. Okay, so WHERE class will specific conditions. So, whatever conditions based on that condition, certain records will be displayed here. If you want to give more than one condition, in such cases, we can use these three operators, AND, OR, and NOT. So, in the way, more than one condition check pan and more, and the edit we can use a AND, OR, NOT operators. So, shall we see the example for this, how to apply AND, OR, NOT. Okay, now we already created one database. In the database, we created one student table also. So, as usual, we have to import the SQLite 3 and we are connecting the academic database and we are creating the cursor object to access all the records. To execute the SQL command, we are using the execute method here. Okay. So, what we are going to display now, we are going to give a conditions. We are going to combine the conditions here. So, the for AND or operator with the help of this, we can give more than one conditions here. So, I am going to give the condition like select asterisk from student where average greater than equal to 80 and average less than equal to 80. So, this is the condition here. So, normally, we have a single condition where average greater than equal to 18. So, in the students average above 80 or equal to 80, the records display. Now, I am going to combine the two conditions now with help of AND here, AND operator use panel. So, the average should be greater than equal to 80 and it should be less than equal to 90 also. So, this is the conditions here. So, in the AND operator, end up on, when you use AND operator, what is the property of the AND operator? In the line, AND operator use pandum, that the property in our kunum, both the things, both the input should be true, then only it returns the output as true here. So, in the end condition is satisfy on our matter, and the record the retrieve. So, in the record above 80 and less than equal to 90 and the record the display. So, the students those who are secured average greater than equal to 80 and less than equal to 90. Those records alone will be displayed as a output here. So, shall we see the output now? So, run your program now. Can you see Akshay and Tarun? So, you are going above 80 less than 90. So, AND operator use the two conditions satisfy. The two conditions satisfy the record is the display. This is the OR operator. So, OR is the same. It should satisfy any one conditions here. If you have one condition satisfy, either record average mark, average value, either it should be greater than equal to 80 or no, less than equal to 90 or no. So, in the average one the greater than equal to 80 or less than equal to 90 or no, and the record not to display ago. So, in the conditions say that the only condition satisfy anale, that record will be displayed. So, shall we check? Save this and run the program. See, we have the value display. Arika. So, greater than or equal to 18, 87, 92, 95, 85. This is greater than or equal to 80 condition. This is satisfy. Arika. So, that is the record display. Arika. Or less than or equal to 19. So, less than or equal to 19 in the condition la satisfy. Arika. Parangan the 72, 65. This is less than or equal to 19. La satisfy so, that record is the display. Arika. So, so this is a property of or and use panna mode rend condition satisfy on a record mode to display agirka or use panna mode if any one condition satisfy that record will be displayed here. 
Do you understand the concept here? Then next one is not. Not in the pano just compliment pano. Compliment panda to the not today work. So now I can get a good na not greater than equal to 18 good cooker. So a pen or tona in the record and la not greater than equal to 80 on the record motor than a making a display of them. So in the record no greater than equal to 80 go on the record and la ignore panita remaining records will be displayed. That is the purpose of not. Not always complements the value. True and the false are matho, false and the true are matho. So shall we see the output now? Run the program now. See, you can see 70 to 65.8. Greater than equal to 80, you can see the record in between the remaining record in display. This is the not operator. So, do you understand the concept of and, or, and not operator? So, with the help of and, or, and not operator, you can filter your records here. Now, we have to filter records filter pani edutukalam by using more than one conditions evlo conditions venalu kuduthukalam by combining these conditions we can use and or and not okay la the next one querying the date column we can also query the date column normal and nama paatha ellame vand average so the column which contains a number or text idhila da nama queries ellame pannirukom we can also query the date column also for example 2001 perandavangaloda list motta namakku display pannanum so for that what can we do here so we have to make some changes in that query here so nama inge changes pannala okay so what we have to do we have to give the birth date so year of the birth date 2001 name irukko so i'm just giving greater than equal to kudukla okay la so greater than equal to first namakku year display aagole so year then month then date okay la so first 2001 First, that is 1st January 2001 in the December 31st So, who are born in 2001 So, those students detail alone we are going to display now So, what are the conditions? We have to satisfy the conditions of the conditions We have to display the conditions of the students So, the students should have born between this 1st January 2001 and 31st December 2001 so like that we have to give a condition here so I have given now first to go to the time even I'm in a good one December month to go to know so we have to keep less than or equal to okay so less than or equal to so first year could know that is 2001 then what is the date uh, month we have to give a month and date is 31st okay in law so either where I could recur students Aungle details mo to display agno. So the students when the first Jan 2011 lo, illa agu kulla re 31st varaiko yar parandar kanglo, aungle details na number display panna por. Okay ingla. So like this also we can also query the date also. Shall we check the output now? See. So only one student who has born between the 2001. That is from first 2002. 31st 2001 so Akshay our detail motor in the display arka. so now my queries when they end the kind of value we're in the Kuda we can able to query our data or particular column a good look very funny I'm a do you understand the concept here they The, the next one is aggregate functions. What is the use of aggregate functions? It is used to do some operations from the value of the column and a single value is returned. Yes. Aggregate means what? It's just grouping and joining. Okay. That is the aggregation. So, many aggregate functions are there. With the help of these functions, we can perform some operations in the particular column and we can return only the single value. So, you create a lot of data. So, and the column like in the records like a lot of data so you see that in the operation panel now we can finally in the value could go on single value motor now could go that type of function is called as the aggregate functions so what are the functions are they count some min average max so these are the aggregate functions here 
The first one is count functions. What is the use of count function? This function returns the number of rows in the table. So sometimes we used to create many number of records that is rows in the table. If you want to see how many records you have created, how many rows are available in your table. If you want to see, we can use a count functions here. Sometimes it returns zero. Why it returns zero? Now, if there is no records or rows are available in the particular table, you will get only the zero one. So even the count can also come along with the where class. Where class is the use for known to specify the condition here. So if that are conditions could have even we discuss panir polaya, number gender group by options and padika mode in the count options and we use panepo. Count the gender no code. Are they in a pano kajemvi genders and motu group by panita the count panika? Yeah. So using the uh, counter, we can also with the help of fair class, we can specify some condition and we can count the records also. Or count a kudu thitu, or a count average in kudu thitu, but the where class la or condition kudu thumna. So based on the condition, it count the particular columns also. Okay. So shall we see the one example for count now? Okay. So select count asterisk from students. Now we will count asterisk. If we could do that, it just displays the number of rows available in the student table. Student table, every rows or records create are given. That number, we will display. Shall we run and see that? See, we got the answer 6. So how many records are created in the student table? 6 records. Now in the previous <coughs> output we have, we have a 6 records are they? So we got the output as a 6. So the count is used to display the number of rows in our table here. So that is the use of count options. Then the second one. So in we are going to count the number of records by specifying the column. So the previous path is number of rows of motor number display. Panu. So rows lama particular column la every values irukka adu kuda namba count use pannite we can able to find it why we should find only the particular column sometimes we have a null or null constraint and not null constraint so null constraint see no columns vandu empty a irukkaradhukku chances irukka so if you want to see that whatever uh, whatever values are non empty so if you want to display how many numbers of non empty values are there if you want to find it you can use a count options here so nama count use panna bodhu it just ignore the null values ungala column la engala null values irukko and the null values null value in the sense what empty Sometimes, we have a particular column, ka, particular field, ka, value we type in the column, that is empty. Adha so, on the empty on the columns, all the ignore the columns, in the column, in the column, values irukko, and the values we have to count and display. Pannu. So, that is the work of counter. So, but in the student table, we don't have any empty values. Okay, in the column, there empty values. Illa. So, that's why we as usual, every values in the column, irukko, and the values are display. Pannu. So shall we see the example for this? So now we will count average in Kurupur. Average in Kurukla in the field in Menalam Kurukla. If average in Kurutana in Naguna, average column la every value zirka. Up to display Pantataka count today functions here. So average column la how many values are entered over there. So even if your average column has a null value, null value in the sense what empty or irundadana, and the empty value ignore Panita then display Pano. That is work of counter. Shall we run and see that? See, average value contains, average field contains 6 values. It's true only. Okay, see, see this, which is the average value? This is the average column here. Okay, so average column then we have the value in empty So, that's why we have all values we count and we have the 6 in display. Do you understand this? Then, the next value, so the count, null values are not counted, always it never counts the null values, it ignore the null values here. The next one is AVG function. What is the use of AVG function? It is used to find the average. Okay, la. So, we have a particular value to enter. And the values of the average we find out, we can use a AVG functions here. So, to find the average, which function will be used? AVG function will be used. Okay. So, we have average in the column. average I can use what? Only AVG here. Then, save your program. Run it. 
so this is the average for the average column so average attribute average field irukle ya and the field la irukka ella values um add pannite how many rows are there six rows are there so it is divided by six that is the average average ude formula enna so the total sum of values divided by the number of values so adu ellathu add pannite nam number of rows ala divide pannite namakku display pannirukka so to find the average we can use the avg function here then the next one is sum so in the avg function also ignores the null value here so engayume in the aggregate functions vande engala null irukko and the values ignore pannite value irukka record value irukka field mattum da adu eduthukada the next one is sum the what is the use of sum it is used to sum the columns here so sum the values here nama specific a or column nama mention pannitomna and the column la irukka ella values you add pannu that is a work of sum here so average column ku i should find this sum okay so what i should do sum of average in kodutale podu automatically find out pannidom so just save this program run So we got 499.6. So how do you get this? Where is the average field here? So this is the average field here. So in the all field we add, we are making the value in the display. So that is the work of sum here. Then the next aggregate functions. Even in the sum also, the none values are ignored here. The next functions are max and min. So what is the use of max function? It returns the maximum value. That is largest value in the selected column. Now, in the column, could come on the column. Now, if the largest value, that value will be returned. That is a work of max. Min use for now. It returns the minimum value in the column. That is the smallest value in the column will be displayed. So, in the value when our parameter and the function could come on the column, then the highest value, the greatest Smallest value display under the max. Smallest value display under the min functions. So shall we see the example for this? So the average we get is in the average column we get because under column we get the number of numerical values we get. Okay, so I am giving max here. So max average we get is now go average column we get is the largest number we get and the number we get is display. So what is the answer we got? 95. So 95 is the largest value we are. So आते ले नमक minimum value पाकला माँ. To find the smallest value ना min. So नमक अंदर वो students वाला performance वो subject ले इधर highest value, इधर least value नमक अंडर पढ़ के देखा we can use a max and min functions here. Save this and run your program. So what is the minimum value we are? 65 is the minimum value we are. Do you understand the concept here? So easy to understand all this, no? Because you have already studied all these functions in the SQL here. Yeah. Students, so, I hope you understood the concept of uh, this uh, aggregate functions and SQL and or not operator. In the next video, we'll discuss about how to update your record and uh, learn about the delete operations also. Thank you.